G'day guys, what's cracking? And today I have an invention that is gonna seriously make your head blow up with amazement. Yeah, it's called the Revo Ring. Have you heard of it? The Revo Ring. Well, stick around, because you're about to find out all about it. <laughs> Just not working. Gosh. Oh, it's so good. Okay, let me give you a little bit of background about why this is important. As soon as you take camera lenses and you try and fit filters on them and you use filters to alter what the lens sees and therefore what the camera picks up and you use those um, sensors to um, either make things darker or light and dark or polarize so you take the shine and the glare out of things or you can put a night filter on or a starburst filter on. There's a number of different things that you can do with filters. But the problem is every lens, this is a 72 mil and this is a 77 mil, every lens is often a different size. And the problem with different size lenses is you like need, what, a different filter for every single lens? Like, are you kidding me? So what you do is you buy these things called step-up rings. And step-up rings have a smaller um, circumference here. So a, say a 72 mil here, and then say a 77 mil there. And you put them on your 72, and you screw it in, and then you put a larger filter on top. That's how you compensate. But then these things, and I've got a couple more of these, they just knock around your bag and you're carrying a ton of glass, a ton of filters around too. This is my filter pack, as well as these other bits and pieces that you can see. And H and Y have come up with an absolutely ingenious solution called the Revo Ring. Ha, ah, this is the Revo Ring. And let me show you what it does because, well, you're just gonna be blown away. Here we go, ready, ready? What? 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 This is, it's nuts. So this is how it works. It's genius. You take your 77 mil, and now this comes, this size is a 67 to 82 mil, which means it can clamp on from anything from a 67 to an 82 mil diameter, right? And the way it clamps on is you, you lock it down, so you twist it, all my grooves come out and then you stick it inside your lens and you let go and it's attached and then you take your circular filter that's an 86 mil and you plug it on the front and you screw it in I know I know and then you get it off by just simply turning that and lifting it Let's try it on a smaller lens. This is a 72, so let's go all the way in. We'll click it down. What? What? And then look at it. It's not budging. There's no light seeping in, and you can stick your filter on the front. So it's a game changer. You buy this from H&Y, and then a single filter you can use circular filters and you get a variety of circular filters, but all at the same diameter of say 86 mil and they plug straight in to the camera. Incredible, not? <laughs> so they've made an ND3 to 1000 filter. It's two pieces of glass next to each other and you turn them and they get darker and darker and darker and you can get darker, so in the middle of the day you can take long exposures of the clouds or water, um, but then you can go all the way back, so it's just a really, really thin filter for those times, say at twilight, when you wanna do a little bit more of a, a long exposure with the lights, and it's just, it's just in that sweet spot. But the CPL takes all the glare out of things. It's circular polarizing filter. It takes all the glare and all the um, shiny light out of things and gives you extra saturation that it draws the colors, the natural colors that are already there. You can screw in here and then alter with some levers on the side. Oh, you've kicked it out of the park, H&Y. The Revo Ring was a Kickstarter project of April 2021. So it's very recent and it, it smashed that it needed 77,000 Hong Kong dollars to be funded and it ended up getting something like 4 million like astounding results and it makes sense why so there's various places you can get this on the net um, uh, the price is about this 
35 bucks it is, 35 US dollars. That's insane. Like talk about insane off the chain. Here it is. Whew. Uh, and it depends on your currency and where you are in the world, but it's affordable, right? A, a step up ring for every avenue, for every use you might have between 67 and 82 mils. They've covered everything. A friend of mine, Harry, got this and said, have you seen this? And I'm like, oh my gosh, he's like, you should do a video on it. I'm like, can I? Should I? Yes, come on. So he's lent me this. Uh, he needs it back tomorrow. I've had it for about a week. It's just so easy. I don't know if you've ever put a step up ring on your lens, but these things are fiddly and annoying. And I'll put a video at the end of this link to, you need one of these to actually get them off. But the Revo ring, that easy guys, that easy. The other thing these guys do is a magnetic lens filter cap. So it just sticks on there and bring in the goods, right? So you can get a lens filter cap, you can get the Revo ring, and you can get the ND3 to 1000 um, circular polarizing filter uh, from their website. So head over there now. There's not an affiliate link um, they don't know I'm doing this. It's just, I love what they do. So get amongst it, everybody. Come on. Well done, H&Y, for the win. I'd love you to be like sponsoring this video and perhaps send me one and I can do some more stuff with it. But needless to say, I am stoked and impressed with your invention. You have made every photographer's life so much easier. And we thank you. Please subscribe down below. Give us a thumbs up. If you want to become a member of the channel, I'd love you to do that. And the details are on the join tab just down, just down, just down there. See ya. I don't know if you've ever put a set up, set up, step up, step up, a bit about bit.